Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to add a networked soundboard to your Gorilla Tag fan game. Practically, you click a button and it plays a sound to the whole lobby. If it doesn't work for you, if you have any questions, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description. The script to this will also be in the Discord server, and it'll also be in a Google Drive link. This script was originally made by Keo, so a huge shout out to him, but I did change it a bit to be way more accessible for most people's games. But still, shout out to him for making the base script. His channel will be in the description. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. So here we are in our game. Now first, what you need to do, make sure that you have photo Photon VR imported into your game. A tutorial to that will be in the description, but I'm pretty sure that you guys all have Photon in your game. Now you want to get the script. The script will be my Discord server or in the Google Drive link, also in the description. And then just drag it into Unity or right click, import new assets, and then find it and just import it. And it's called Soundboard here. These headers won't be here, but these are made by Keo originally just to kind of explain, but pretty much before his didn't use an on trigger enter so pretty much you needed to have another script to play the sound but i changed it so it has an on trigger enter now so now it actually plays the sound when you click it using the same script so there's no other scripts needed so when you get the script these headers probably won't be here pretty much how it works there's an audio source and when you click the object it triggers play sound and to summarize it using the photon view that will be on the thing it'll practically play the sound to everyone in the lobby now what you want to do once you have the script in just click the plus 3d object cube i'm just gonna call this soundboard now you will need to make a cube for each like sound that you have now on the soundboard check is trigger and now first go to your left hand controller then go to tag and make sure you have hand tag on both your controllers but if you don't click add tag click the plus type in hand tag spelt exactly like that no spaces and capitalize the same and then select your left and right hand go to tag and add hand tag and then for layer go to layer add layer make sure you have a layer called left hand and right hand if you don't you can just type it in then on left hand add left hand on right hand add right hand and then select them both again click add components search for a sphere collider and click it to add it and then turn on is trigger and make the radius 0.06 now once you have that on the cube you can now drag on the soundboard scripts just like that and as you will see it'll automatically add a photon view once again you need photon for this to work and the hand tag will be automatically set to hand tag but you can change it if you want now for photon view just drag on this this photon view into the photon view space and once again you won't see these headers and for sound pretty much you need to import a sound into your game it can be an mp3 just whatever i'm just going to be using one of these for example by the way a horror tutorial will come out i just don't know when i get to edit it because it's a long video so i'll just use this sound by the way all of these were sent to me by my friend just to do a uh, tutorial on it so once you have the sound you want to use just drag it onto the same soundboard object and then turn off play on awake and now for spatial blend this is a really your choice if you want it to be 2d then pretty much it'll be mono so people won't hear it like surround sound kind of if that makes sense but then if you put it to 3d they'll hear it as if it's like a 3d space and if you do set it to 3d you probably want to set it to linear roll off now get the same audio source and drag it onto sound there so now once those are all set up just click play and keep in mind that you will need to be connected to a lobby for this to work so right now i'm not connected so it won't work and now i'm connected to a lobby and so i'm going to get my hand and i'm going to click it and you're going to hear the sound and as you can see it is very loud if you want you can go to the audio source and turn the volume down just depending on whatever you do and then if you want to add text just right click on here 3d object text mesh pro if you don't have text mesh pro then just go to window text mesh pro and then just click import this one and import this one and then i guess you can just resize it a bit and i'll just call it like roar just as an example now you can control c control v and then do a new one and then on this one you can add like another audio source here so i'll just do like that and then it'll be different thing just do one for each one and that's pretty much it once again if you have any questions about this make sure to go to my discord server link in the description if something doesn't work for you or if you just have any questions with unity or if you just want to be part of my awesome community and the script is also there also guys please consider becoming a channel member because it's only two dollars a month and it helps me out so much and you get so many awesome perks including getting to see my videos earlier than the normal viewer and including getting a shout out at the end of every single video that i make just like all of the wonderful people that are all on the screen right now thank you all so much much comment down below some video ideas that you want me to make guys please like and subscribe it helps me out so much thank you all so much for watching and yeah guys that's it for me today peace